Hi everybody, uh, I am uh, Trey, one of your average film enjoyers, and I am here to tell you that you can win over $500 worth of movie stuff. So if you're listening to this podcast, you're a huge movie fan. Obviously, you wouldn't be listening if you didn't love film like me and Jagger. Um, and so me and Jagger, along with, uh, three other content creators on TikTok, uh, Film Gunch, who we've had on here, uh, Wes, who we've had on here a couple times, and then, uh, one of our good friends, Real Takes, we are all, uh, joined together doing a giveaway currently, and it, um, how you join this giveaway is you go, uh, to each of our pages, we all have the giveaway video pinned. And you'll go on to that video. You'll give us all a follow. We uh, Each account is tagged in every video. Um, and then com comment down below. Uh, five Tag five of your friends. And if you tag five different friends in all five different videos, then you can get up to 30 entries. 30 entries. You can get up to 30 entries. So, uh, but you're like, Trey... Well, you're telling me about this, but I don't even know what I can win. Well, I'll tell you what you can win. Uh, Real Takes is donating a uh, 4K Harry Potter collection, Blu-ray James Bond collection, uh, I believe a 4K uh, collection of the Planet of the Apes films, and uh, the first three John Wick movies in 4K. Um, I'm donating three criterions of your choice, so whoever wins get to choose uh, three criterions. And we'll mail those to you. Uh, Jagger, my co-host, is donating um, three or a bunch of international DVDs. Um, Gunch is donating um, uh, uh, Don Hertzfeld and uh, oh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Well, the animated show. It's a very limited edition animated sketch comedy show. He has a bunch of steel books of all three seasons, so he's donating those. And then the biggest one. Wes is donating a region-free Blu-ray player. So if any of those items interest you, again, go to any of our TikTok pages. Go to me and Jagger's TikTok page. Try the film noob, Jagger Film Reviews. We have the video videos pinned on top of our pages. So go check them out. Follow the instructions. Uh, the giveaway ends when we are all five of us at a thousand followers and me and Jagger are the only ones that haven't hit a thousand followers yet. So please help us get a, uh, get us there so we can give away all this movie merchandise. Now let's get to the podcast. <laughs> And welcome back to the gritty and grimy side of 70s B-Horror. We already talked about Frank Henenlotter and his big three. So it's time we talk about the extremely strange Joe Spinell nightmare directed by William Lustig, Maniac, about a guy who kills ladies, I guess, and mm -hmm. does stuff with mannequins. Yeah. Um... It's a very weird movie that will definitely leave you feeling uncomfortable. It was remade with, um, Frodo. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't know if that was a remake or a completely separate, uh, film. But, yeah, with Elijah Woods. Yeah. Um, it, I don't want to watch the remake. I don't think it needed to happen. So I'm not going to. I read a great review of this movie that called it Jaws on Land, mm -hmm. um, which I think is a really interesting way to put it, because it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, where it's like, they don't show him a lot. And it's a short movie. Mm -hmm. And he's not in all of it, but when he is there, there's something always very like creepy about it, and he's always just hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the description for this movie is a psychotic man troubled by his childhood abuse, loose in NYC, kills young women and takes their scalps as trophies. Will he find the perfect woman in photographer Anna and end his killing spree? Um, this movie is so gross, especially for the time it came out. I believe it was NC-17 when it first came out and they weren't letting anyone under 18 in the theater. 
Um, which is pretty crazy to think about, because it doesn't look as bad now. Um, yeah. But it was huge, very controversial at the time, like, making he- news headlines. Like, you can't let anyone see this movie. Like, what's mm-hmm. happening right now with Terrifier 2, so check out Trey's TikTok video about that. Yeah, man. Um, all the, uh, Terrifier 2 getting all this hate on TikTok. Don't listen to anyone except me. I have the right opinion. Everybody else is wrong. Um, and I'm reading a great review right now that says, if Taxi Driver was a horror movie. Oh, so 100%. This- yeah, this is a very gritty movie that I absolutely uh, adored. I didn't love it as much as other people, but I think that when you get down to like what it did for the horror genre, and taking the slasher genre, which at the time you had things like Friday the 13th, um, Halloween, these silly slashers, you know, mm-hmm. and flipping it on its head by making it this actually like really disturbing thing it did a lot it took the horror genre and flipped it on its head which i think was a very very impressive task at the time and straying away from a genre that much very very commendable so i have it at three and a half trey i believe you have it at a three yeah um and yeah i think you should check this one out a lot of fun very weird kind of creepy too so for what it's worth it's it's an enjoyable experience it is but yeah yeah, we thank you guys so much for tuning in uh check out our socials you are trey the film noob pretty much everywhere yeah i am jagger the movie guy on instagram jagger film reviews on tiktok uh Jagger the Movie Guy on Twitch as well, and Jagger Film Reviews on Twitter as well. I'm getting everything scrambled up. And check out Serenity and OJ Production on YouTube. It's my short film. I'm really proud of it. Would really appreciate if you guys checked yeah. it out. Thank you guys so much for listening, and tune in next time to the Average Film Enjoyer, and have a spooky rest of your day.